Welcome again, everybody, to The Home Bartender. I am Anne, and today we are making a cocktail that's taking us into spring. It's taking us out of those darker days of winter. We're heading towards spring when the flowers are starting to come up. So join me and learn how to make the gin daisy. All right, everybody, let's gather the ingredients for the gin daisy. You will need one and a half ounces of gin, two pineapple chunks, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. You're gonna need a quarter ounce of grenadine, a half an ounce of simple syrup, and seltzer water to top. And I'm gonna attempt a lemon rose for garnish today. Let's mix the gin daisy. We're gonna start with two pineapple chunks and we're gonna muddle that. Release those juices. And then over the top of that, we will add a half an ounce of simple syrup. Then a quarter ounce of grenadine. This is my homemade French grenadine. I have a video for that that you can go back and watch and learn how to make. And then we're gonna have uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we will do um, an ounce and a half of this aviation gin. Hold, hold on, hold on, I'm just gonna pour this in here. Ounce and a half of aviation gin. And then uh, we're gonna get some ice in the, the mixing glass and Mix this up. What do you think about the aviation gin bottle? It's a little ridiculous, I think. It's very hard to pour from. And um, so tell me what you think in the comments. All right. Then we're going to get a, um, a rocks glass here and I have a big piece of ice. I'm gonna get that in there and then let's uh, strain this into our cocktail glass. All right, next we're gonna top that with seltzer water. And then Let's try, my peeler is not super great for this, but I'm gonna try. That's what home bartending is about, is trying things at home. So I'm gonna roll this up into a little flower of some sort, maybe loosen it up a little bit. Get the pick in there and set that in there. Hmm, I'm gonna abandon ship on that. This is the Gin Daisy. Okay, before I try this cocktail, I'm gonna add a pre-made little lemon rose because I wasn't sure how the live version of that was gonna go. And um, I'm also going to add a Surfside Sip straw. This is a four inch straw that Andrew over there at Surfside Sips made for me custom. At checkout, use HBN20 for 20% off your purchase. Now I'm gonna try the Gin Daisy. It's actually really well balanced, I think, with the gin in there. It's floral, of course. It's a little tangy from the lemon because it is a variation of a sour, which I'll go over in just a minute. But with the pineapple, the grenadine and the simple syrup, that pineapple brings in some nice um, natural sugar flavors along with the grenadine and the simple syrup. So it's a, it's a very well balanced, nice cocktail. Give it a try. I wanted to comment on the bottle while I was mixing, as you can see, it's a little awkward, but I do like the 1920s style, you know, art deco kind of look of this bottle. It's just a big bottle. I'm hoping that Aviation makes uh, the 375 mil bottle. I just can't find it locally where I am, even though they are an Oregon based company, I haven't been able to find it. 
I wanted to talk for a moment about the difference between a daisy and a sour. Now I found this recipe on the aviation website, so aviation.com, and I think I'm just kind of coming to the, to the fact that it's called a gin daisy because it has the lemon daisy on it. Now, a sour is usually a two, one, one ratio, two alcohol, one simple, one whatever fruit, like lime or lemon that you're using. A gin daisy from the research that I did is actually a three, one, one with a modifier of a liqueur in there along with the gin or whatever spirit you're using. Just wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. And so here on YouTube, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the red subscription button. It's really fast, really easy. Just go ahead and do that. And while you're there, share it with a friend. If you found value in this video, share it with a friend. Follow me on Instagram. I'm over there at home bartender Ann. I usually post a picture and a recipe over there. And I'm also on Facebook. So join me next week for another cocktail. We will see you then. Be well.